Um, so the first kind of key theme that we'd like you to discuss is internationalisation. It's been raised as one of the key drivers in EMI, and it's been mentioned in all the presentations this morning. So has internationalisation had an impact on higher education in your contexts? Is internationalisation supported by government policies, funding or projects? What are the pros and cons of internationalisation in your context? Are there concerns about westernisation? We've had some mention about um, moving from a gra grammar-based um, delivery of English instruction to more communicative-based instruction. Has that had an impact? And are there pressures to meet uh, international standards in your context, like, they were, like we described in Poland? Does the MI require a westernised approach to education, and does this fit your students' needs in your context? Uh, Andrew mentioned domain loss in Nordic countries. Is domain loss a concern or issue in your context, and how has your government policy responded to this? Next slide. And the next slide. And then I'm really going to challenge you because I'm going to ask you to put one on one screen and one on the other. But let Anne talk about this. We'd also like you to discuss some of the attitudes, obstacles and challenges within your context, reflecting on what you've heard in the presentations this morning. Is the English language proficiency threshold, if you have one, is it adequate in your context? And is support offered to students who don't meet the threshold? You know, is that support adequate? Thinking about students, do they face similar issues to those reported in other countries in your context? So we've heard a lot about um, issues in East Asia, issues in Poland, and issues in Nordic countries. What are the impacts of the issues faced, and how can the challenges be tackled? Thinking about staff within universities, do they face similar issues to those reported in other countries? And what are the impacts of these issues faced, and how can the challenges be tackled? Uh, I think this was missing from the presentation I saw in your slides. I really like this point. Um, <laughs> oh, that slide. Can you go? Um, well, Nicola, Nicola took out of her presentation a really nice quote that one size fits all university language policy is unlikely to correspond to the needs of all disciplines equally. I'd like to know your thoughts on this. Would you agree with this? And what implications does it have in your context? <laughs> 